now we are going to see some short examples of passage planning like here we have asked uh, been asked to prepare a passage plan from torque pilot station to cherbourg birth to birth so basically whatever question you are been asked it's around 30 marks questions so this is the details which you have to put always so this is a, just a blank format first we are seeing so ships details maneuvering data uk's eta master sign then for appraisal there are some general publications which we have to refer always chart correction chart catalog lrs fox signal charts for intended passage all voyage charts are up to date mariner's handbook sailing direction routing charts tight tables risk procedure previous passage plan master sending orders company local warnings countries meteorological warnings so this is in continuation with the previous video so for detailed information you can see there then planning so all the information we gathered will involve from publications we put in the passage planning then we have to mark no go areas course distance waypoint distance to go parallel indexing contingency about point transit bearings ppi reporting points calling procedures risk planning level coastal and near berth squat or congested and open sea formulas then like this we have to make a table for different this thing so first let's see the points of execution what we have to write discussion of passage planning masters rest hours engine room notice then alter courses deck is secured then ready to sail pilot preparation then monitoring position fixing navigation equipments maintaining logs of positions and navigation equipments watch level lookout vessel draft and reporting then the we have to make a rough plan like this that uh, what all points as we saw serial number chart number if possible way points position course speed distance distance to go parallel indexing position fixing methods ukc and the remarks these are the minimum things which we have to put and write in our answer so next we see an example we have a uh, we have been asked for making a passage plan from uh, simrisham pilot station to kula ground pilot station so the positions are given so we write like this we make put the ship's details and voyage number speed departure drafts arrival drafts and passage planning so always we have to write in these four stages so first uh, we can write a short note what are these four stages appraisal is collecting of informations and situations planning is putting the information on the charts which short and safest route economical and execution is refers to the implementing of the planned route and monitoring is uh, if any changes and seeing that the passage plan is going as per the plan so publications referred again all this we have to write again if you want i can send you the pdf as we saw before and then like this same format we have to put different waypoints on the charts and we have to put these positions and distance and courses and remarks how we have to take positions from leading lights so these are the minimum if you make this much columns for your exam this much is enough so special points of alteration and wheel over positions and special points for each waypoint we have to write like this in exam and total distance eta to pilot station and like this we have to draw a rough plot on the paper also so we have not got the chart but this is how we have plot as per the if you see the chart the courses will come like this so you have to mark the pilot station the position waypoints course distance distance to go alteration points and all these things you have to mark so these are the various components and segments of passage planning as we said the components of appraisal planning execution and monitoring in different stages or segments pilotage coasting ocean passage landfall and getting at anchorage or pilot and different aspects safety legal and commercial or economical aspects 
and also while we are doing passage planning we have to check about for for people lsa medical food water hygiene then for ships we were the prep drafts weather communication for cargo lashings and holds weather tightness legal regulations port clearances cargo manifest and for commercial charter parties and owners requirement so this is the example if you have been asked to plot a passage from okha to kandla so we make this uh, all the notes so ship's name and passage from okha to kandla maximum draft trim date time of departure speed and maneuvering details master's name then we have uh, different waypoints and positions course distances tidal streams and uh, alter course then speed or speed maximum speed which you can keep next waypoint eta to next waypoint and any reference marks and any special remarks how much engine speed and from where we do the position fixing all those things we have for each waypoint and some other remarks at the end how the courses are marked and all those things important navigation marks and all then you can write some special points about maneuvering and uh, notice to engine rooms before uh, arrival encourages pilotage current tidal stream conspicuous, conspicuous objects and what how much time as per the question and marks you can put all the details whatever you have then we need to put departure port information vhf and port names tidal data arrival port information vts and port controls and reporting points navigation marks arrival port facilities then uks clearance calculation at each place minimum tide bar and some other informations for the passages so this is the example of passage plan from liverpool to halifax so in the exam on the chart we will mark the initial position and we will mark the final position and from there we will draw the courses because we cannot go from here because you see as per the clearance and these things is very and submarine extract is there and there is a foul place so we will go from here and this maintaining distance from the land and like this we will go to the fire station point so like uh, from here we are coming so we will plot for the courses and distances distance to go waypoint numbers and uh, different marking check soundings and all no go areas everything we will mark like that from tss which lane we are going and each leg we will measure and then we will put in the passage plan format like this so first we have to make the plan from birth to birth so from pilot station we will have different waypoints and the course and distances and uh, time for each this each uh, leg and distance and final distance to go and then the next continuation continuation of same table the different position for position fixing the name of the leg then eta then uh, engine speed how much you can keep you can see position fixing method and any special remarks